How's it going everyone? Um, today I wanted to talk to you about um, CO2 indicators um, or they're more commonly known as drop checkers. The easiest way to describe a drop checker is to think of it as a pH checker um, but instead of reading the pH of your tank it's reading the pH of the indicating solution that's inside it. Um, to set up your drop checker you will need the drop checker itself, some 4 dKH solution and some CO2 indicating liquid. Um, this drop checker um, as well as the 4 dKH solution and the indicator liquid came from aquariumplantfood.co.uk. Um, the drop checker is made by Gush um, which are fantastic company for glassware. Um, this has got quite a thick rim as you can see there so it's, it's nice and durable. Um, I've seen some others where the glass is really thin um, and they can they can break really easily but this is a, a lovely thick um, glass um, and it's, it's beautiful looking you put the the suction cup onto the side and when you've got your indicating solution it sits like that in the tank um, and it looks brilliant. Um, you can see the if I can try and get it for you it says gush across the face there it's um, a, a strong suction cup as well I have tried this in the tank um, a lot of suction cups obviously go white um, and lose their, their stick but this actually sticks really well um, okay let's show you how you set it up so you get your drop checker take a 2ml syringe open up your 4D KH solution and then you draw up a syringe full and squeeze it into your drop checker. You now want to take your indicating liquid. Um, you can use one to four drops. Um, you, can, you can use more depending on how bright you want the blue to be. Um, when you first add it, the, the liquid will go blue, um, and that's because there's no CO2 um, indicating at all. So if I add in, add in four drops, you can use between no, one to four is normally perfectly fine. And then you need to carefully. tip the unit so that it goes in to the glass bulb. Now you can see the blue indicating solution in there. As I stated a minute ago, um, the blue indicates that there's no CO2 um, in here. Um, when you use this indicator, what you're actually trying to achieve with CO2 is approximately 30 parts per million um, of CO2 in the tank. Um, when it's blue it can be anywhere from 0 to 25 parts per million. If the drop checker goes yellow um, it can be anywhere from um, 35 parts per million and up. But if you get a nice green colour which is the, the colour you're trying to achieve that's between 25 and 30 parts per million so you're not going to get it exact um, but you're going to you're going to get it in the range that you want it so you're after around about 30 parts per million so I say this is the blue color green is the ideal yellow is too much co2 so you just need to throttle your co2 back if you're new to co2 and you're just setting up your CO2 kit. Put your drop checker in, 
<coughs> and start running it at a very low bubble rate of around about 1 to 1.5 bubbles a second. This is to make sure that you don't put too much CO2 in your tank initially. Um, it takes two hours um, to get your first reading. Um, it's, it's a slow process. Um, the, the way it works is this is in the tank. When the when your water um, absorbs the CO2, the gases in the water go up through this dead space and change the colour of the indicating solution. Let's put that onto the tank so you can see. Um, you should only ever use the 4 dkh solution um, never use your aquarium water you'll, you'll see some, some websites that say to use aquarium water or a lot of the um, Chinese um, imports will say use aquarium water put it in that's not what you want you're not you're not doing the uh, checking the pH of your water um, you're checking the pH of the indicating solution, you're trying to get that 30 parts per million and this this um, D4KH solution um, is is set up for that um, so make sure you, you only use this. Um, the indicating liquid um, will last you a long time um, there's 10 mil in, in here, you only need uh, as I say about 4 drops, 1 to 4 drops um, to get the blue colour you want it doesn't matter how dark you have the blue all it will mean is that the green will look darker and then the yellow will look darker depending on the, your CO2 concentration um, when you put the drop checker in the tank you need to have it set up so it's about 100 to 150 millimeters below the water surface um, and you need to make sure that you've got no um, direct flow going to the drop checker itself so if you've got um, something like an internal filter and you've got a, the, the jet going on it um, make sure that's not aimed at the drop checker because what will happen is the water will enter through the bottom and it'll end up filling the, the dead space that's in the uh, in the chamber itself this is a dead space this is just air that will be in here um, you don't want that filling up with water and mixing um, with the bulb. Um, another problem um, that I've read about this, I mean I haven't got one myself, but if you use um, uh, an atomizer to diffuse your CO2, um, pure CO2 bubbles can enter the chamber and give you a false reading on the indicator. Um, so again if you use um, an atomizer, try and keep um, an eye on it to make sure that um, CO2 bubbles aren't just being fired towards um, the drop checker. Um, they work perfectly fine with the normal um, ceramic discs, um, but you, you shouldn't have a problem de depending on the size of your tank. Um, You want to set your CO2 system up um, to keep everything consistent. Um, when I set mine up, I have my lights um, on a timer. I have a solenoid valve on my CO2 kit, which is also on a timer. Um, because ideally, you want to set your CO2 to come on two hours before your lights. And then you want your CO2 to go off an hour before your lights go off. Um, you also need to keep an eye on fish in your tank to make sure that none of them are struggling gasping for air at the top of the tank because um, that will just cause you um, fish death and you don't want that. At the end of the day it's all about trial and error and doing things slowly. Um, as, I, as I stated it takes approximately two hours for the indication indicator solution to actually work and to show you um, a reading um, so if you notice that your 
even when your CO2 has been on for a couple of hours it stays blue you want to increase the bubble rate slightly um, to two to two and a half bubbles and, and go from there leave it a couple of hours take another reading but let's say keeping an eye on your fish to make sure they're not gasping for air if you find that the indication solution has gone yellow then you need to turn down your CO2 slightly because you're putting too much CO2 into the tank a tank um, has to be balanced if, if you have um, inconsistency you'll find you'll end up getting algae growth and um, all sorts of problems um, so I highly recommend having your lights and your CO2 on a timer and keeping to the same um, regime if you run out of CO2 you really need to go and get some some more CO2 um, as soon as possible because that's one of the biggest problems with um, algae outbreaks um, is when you run out of your CO2 because um, you've just messed up the whole balance of your tank um, this glass drop checker as I say came from aquariumplantfood.co.uk um, it cost me $17.99 um, absolutely beautiful it's going to look stunning in the tank um, they do lots of other um, drop checkers in different designs um, different prices so head over and uh, check them out um, the 4DHK solution and the Gush indicator liquid also came from aquariumplantfood.co.uk um, I believe the water the 4DHK water was um, 395 um, and the indicating solution was 399 um, so it's, it's a a vital piece of kit that you really need to have if you're using CO2 um, I don't recommend using CO2 unless you're going to have um, a drop checker in there um, to make sure you've got everything set up right um, as I say again you need to get a nice green colour in the indicator and you'll know you've got the perfect amount of CO2 in there for your plants you're aiming for between 25 and 30 parts per million um, I hope you uh, enjoyed watching the video, um, just trying to do some different things um, that I haven't seen people do for a while um, and uh, I hope it's, it's going to help out a few people. Thank you very much for watching everyone.